A certain database charges users a registration fee of X dollars and it charges registered users Y dollars per file downloaded. So they upcharge their users. If there are no other charges for users of this database, what is the amount of the registration fee? So your total charge for using your this database is going to be this fixed registration fee of uh, X dollars plus Y times the number of files downloaded. And so they want uh, X so uh, we need to find uh, the, the uh, cost of our downloaded files, that means. Um, the total charge to download 50 files is $150, including the registration fee. Okay, so this means 150 is equal to X plus y times 50. Uh, and so uh, this isn't going to be enough because this is just 150 equals x plus 50y. So we still would have to find y in order to get a registration fee uh, insufficient. Statement two says, so this uh, looks to me like it's going to be uh, C. Unless, uh, unless these two statements are giving me literally the same equation, uh, I'll have two equations and two variables when I'm done with this. So if I, if I had five seconds left now on my test and I just had to guess, I would probably guess C. So let's see what this says. Uh, the total charge to download 100 files is 225. So 225 is equal to x plus 100 uh, y. And so this is, uh, again, by itself going to be insufficient because I need y if I want to find x. And so then together, I have my system of equations. Uh, 150 is equal to x plus 50y, 225 is equal to x plus 100y, and sure enough, it looks like I will be able to solve for x here. So if I want to solve for x, I should get rid of y. So I'm going to multiply this top equation by negative 2 so that I can then add my equations and y will cancel out. So this gives me uh, negative 300 is equal to uh, negative 2x minus 100y. So when I add this to here, uh, I get uh, negative 75 is equal to negative x, and therefore x is equal to 75. And so our registration fee is 75 bucks. I hope it's good for at least a year because that's a pretty expensive registration. See.